All right, everyone. How's it going? Boom flying here. Welcome back to my channel. Seems like, uh, yeah, you guys are just here. Uh -huh. Anyway. Oh, let me put on a nice shirt here. Be, be presentable for the camera. Don't want to be, you know, dancing around half naked like Pepino Man does in his videos. Unless you're poolside, and I don't have a pool, so there'll be none of that. Anyway, let's see. Hey, Funkin' Mess, how's it going? Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I, I gave up on football a long time ago, Funkin'. Um, but your video is still funny. I mean, it's just... Um, I, I live over in Jersey. I don't know where you live, but I live over in Jersey. But I drive by the stadiums every day going to work. I work in south of the airport. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just uh, the guys at work, they, they do. I hear all the, the same thing you hear, all the complaining and whining about how terrible the team is. And um, My father-in-law is a big, you know, lifelong Eagles fan. Um my wife, uh, when she was like into football, she was you know she was an Eagles fan too. Myself, growing up in uh, PA, you think I would have been a um, Eagles fan too, but no, I was a Jets fan, and uh, because I like Joe Namath and John Riggins, and um, you know after Namath left and went to the Rams and. Riggins went to Washington. I kind of jumped down to Washington with Riggins. Um, and then, you know, Riggins retires. I just kind of just stopped following football altogether. So, and the Redskins haven't helped themselves much with, um, you know, their quarterbacking situation. RG3 was a mess. Um, you know, you know, old story. You're an NFC East guy, so you know. But anyway, we're here. We're here to talk about baseball cards because that's what I've stuck with um, throughout all this. Baseball cards. I'm looking every day for a year. Oh, okay. They're getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. You know. Yep, and that's just goes to show you what guys with money think they can just, you know, they think money's going to solve all their problems, and it's not. It just creates more problems. But that's what they say. I don't know. I'm not a guy with money. So let's get into these uh, baseball cards. Um, you can continue talking football if you want. You know, let me get my phone fired up. That way I can just... Not keep walking back and forth here. Um, I can just stare at it from right here. All right. So we are back. We are live. And we are talking Eagles football and... Um, Baseball cards. So as you can see, so this is a box I bought. I went out, a buddy of mine at work, in case you don't know the backstory to this, told me, hey, my neighbor's moving. He's got some baseball cards. You want to, you interested? You want to come look at them? I'm like, yeah, I'll come look at them. Why not? So we set up a time to go look at them after work one day. I followed him. His neighbor's 75 year old guy. He said, these are my kids' cards. They're in their 40s now. They don't want them. They said, just get rid of them. So I opened up this box. Right, pulled the lid off. It came with a, you know, lid, and I saw it wasn't in this. It was in it was in a top loader. It was kind of sticking out, and I just well top loaders. You know, usually people put something they cherish in one of the top loaders. And I pulled it out and I saw that it was a score Derek Jeter. I'm like, man, that looks like some kind of Jeter rookie card. It looks very young in there. And he's got you know like the double ear flaps and all that stuff, which means it's like minor leagues type stuff. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to buy the lot. And I offered him, well, I 
asked him what he was what he was looking at for. He said, "Well, you know, like two hundred bucks." I'm like, "Okay, sold two hundred bucks." I ended up giving him two hundred twenty uh, because my buddy didn't want like a twenty dollars finder's fee. So I said, "Well, well, I give it to the old man then. I don't, I don't care." And so for two hundred twenty bucks, I got like about one hundred twenty five thousand cards. And, you know, right now we're, we've pulled these cheaters out of this. I've gone through other boxes and other videos, but this box being so big, it, it's requiring a couple, couple videos. I mean, you can see we got bonds, cards, Steve Avery, and there are all kinds of cards. There's nothing super duper old. There was one box had an older card in it. Donnie baseball. And so, you know, the way I do it is I'll just go by and I'll pull out, you know, the Hall of Famers and uh, fan favorites, Bobby Abreu, prospect card, I guess. Molitor checklist. Tiny Baseball again. Jerry DePoto. Another Donnie Baseball. We got a lot of Don Magnoli cards. Oh, Ooh, Mike Schmidt. Got a little ding on the corner, though. What is this? Masters of the Grill, NFL. Oh, Bart Oates. Bart Oates. Oh, it's some kind of cooking recipe. Yeah, I hear you. No extra money. Nolan Ryan. I'm I'm fortunate enough. My wife lets me um, spend money on cards. Like this was 200 bucks. I have a regular guy. I don't know how often you tune into my channel or not. I have a regular guy who um, sells me cards. Like I'm surprised he hasn't called me yet or texted me yet, saying, "Hey, I got like a hundred thousand cards. You you want them?" And I'll usually go get them for like 50 bucks or something like that. Uh, Pat Lipstash. Ooh, wait a minute. Pre-production. So this is a promo card. This is going to go in my binder. I have a promo binder. I have a book with that has errors and sample cards and stuff like that. And so that's a promo card. I never even thought about looking at those things for that. Interesting. Ricky Henderson. Will Clark, Lee Smith, Mickey Morandini, if you're a Phillies fan. Joe Girardi, Jason Giambi, future star card. Bronia. Manny Ramirez. Get the focus. There we go. Let's point this down now. There we go. All right. Check the chat real quick. Hey, Rob G. How's it going? 100,000 is a lot. You're right. Um, I've got over two and a half closing in on three million cards in my collection. So I don't. Like I said, I don't know how often you've been here. This is just uh, part of it. I'll give a little scan around the room. So it's an eight-foot ceiling. It's stacked seven feet high. Most of those are 5,000-count boxes. Some over 3,200s. And then over here is my um, wax unopened wax some more 3200 count boxes with fan favorites hall of famer cards uh, unopened wax and these are not those there but this is like what i have left of football basketball and hockey cards that i've collected not those over there that's uh baseball again just this stack and that stack is all um like non-sports football basketball and hockey Mostly from the 70s, because that's when I collected. And then if you can 
look out into the hallway there. There's another um, three stacks of 5,000 count boxes, about seven feet high, and some 3,200 counters stacked seven feet high. Then I got uh, the um, dining room downstairs, which was converted to like a gym slash I don't know what. We got our you know, coffin refrigerator in there, freezer in there, and some other stuff. Um, I've got another million cards stacked up there, if not more. So I've got closing in on three million cards, and I'm converting my garage. I will be converting my garage into a studio to do YouTube and store all my cards. Your wife, yeah, well, my wife's about there now to kill me, too. Um, I bought a 200 square foot shed to move everything from my garage out into the shed outside and the cards are going to be kept in the in the garage downstairs. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, there's going to be uh, an intervention will be happening soon. I'm pretty sure. All right. So let's get back into these because it takes hours, guys, to go through some of these boxes. You guys that have sat here with me another Bobby Abreu. Uh, sat here through some of these, you can see, you know, two, three hour live streams just to sort cards is ridiculous. What I'm going to do here is I'm not going to sort them here. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to pick out the Hall of Famers, the fan favorites. I was still, I'm still interested in seeing how many more Jeter cards we pull out of this because, you know, you know, it's like it's like roaches and not that Jeter's a roach or anything like that. But when you see one, there's usually more, right? We went through that stack. So we've gotten three out of this box. So I'm hoping more. That's the hope. I don't know if my video posted from yesterday. Yesterday I did like three videos. Um, this would be the second one for today. We just did a live stream for um, John Jabs. Uh, the Pass is Alive. His uh, mail he sent me yesterday. Here's Cal Ripken. And... Um, my nemesis has showed up. He showed his face again. That's like the fourth or fifth time Pedro card has showed up. You don't count that. That's the same card. Randy Johnson. Ooh. Mike Messina. And it's a pre-production, too. Wow. I never even thought to check these. I've seen these. Like I've come across these cards before and never looked at the backs. I just kind of sleeve them up because I'm like, oh, we want to protect them and save them from scratches. But that's the second pre-production, pre which means it's a sample card. The original card may look different from that. It may be a smaller picture of him. You know, he had made more of his arms in the in the in the you know borders there or not. I don't know. So we got two promo cards now. Very nice. I know there's a bunch of these out there, but you can tell by the front they're different colors down here on the promo ones so Randy Johnson Tim Salmon there he goes swimming upstream uh, the old salmon Who's Al Jaffe? Asterisk. Well, yeah, apparently um, they're out of it finally, thank God. I couldn't stand to see them win another one or even go there. Gilkey. Gilkey as charged. Here's another cooking one. It's a football card. Courtney Hall. Plays for the Chargers or played for the Chargers. It's the print on this is so small. Hmm. 
I don't know what year these are. Maybe you guys, if you're football guys, you know what years. If you've ever seen these before, there's no date on them, like a year. They're just like their favorite recipes, I guess. There's a Canseco. International flavor. Hall of Famer, Larry Walker. And another Canseco. Another Brayu rookie, or draft pick card, whatever you call it. Another Manny. Ooh, a Topps Gold Frank Thomas Measures of Greatness. Ooh, Topps Gold. That's nice. Let's leave that one up. Mel Rojas. Another Ripken Measures of Greatness. Pronounced L. Oh, Al Hefe. Oh, Jeff Airtime. Yeah, he. Uh, um, I don't know what he's doing now on Sundays. He, I don't know if he has his show or what. I don't think so anymore. He's kind of taking a break. Um, hey, he has an open invitation to come flea marketing with me. He only lives right up the road from me, probably 10 minutes away. If that, he lives in the next town up. There's Steve M. Emptman, E M T M A N, Emptman, Emptman, whatever. Uh, Tim Krumery, Krumery. Well, these are big guys. You can tell they like to eat. They're all like fat linemen. Dan Saliamua. Oh, Bart Grossman. There's an eagle for you. And he likes, of course, Philly cheesesteaks. Why not? He'd get killed if he put something else down there, like New England Sham Cloud. Two Hall of Famers. Martinez and Gwynn. The Hirschheiser. Great flipping cards. Hey Alex, how's it going? No, no, Judas. We kind of just getting started here. Still have the three that we had from earlier. I just put up John's um, mail day video, or it should be going up soon. Eddie Murray. But you know, hopes are high, right? Like I said earlier, they're like like roaches. You see one, there's plenty more that you don't see. So. We're hoping there's more Jeters in this box just hiding. There's a nice Edgar. Big Ben. There's an electric diamond. I didn't even see if there are any other electric diamonds in there. Electric diamond. Alan Bennis, Andy's little brother. Electric Diamond makes it a parallel. One day I'll be putting together these parallel sets. Put that there. Larry Walker. Flipping cards. I love it. It's Kevin Brown, right? Kevin Brown and another Edgar. Cecil Fielder. Here's a salmon. And he's gone. Caminetti. 
Always got a crease right down the, right down his shoulder there. See it right there? To the floor. Here's an electric diamond of John Franco. Greg Swindell. There's a electric diamond, Bernard Gilkey. Mickey Morandini. So we will sleeve up the Gilkey. Philadelphia needs better sticky gloves. They can't hold on to the ball. Fumble, fun day. Jeez. That's got to be frustrating if you're a fan, that's for sure. But I was happy for them when they won the Super Bowl. I mean, I was actually rooting for them. You know, I figured it'd be good for the city and people's morale and all this good stuff. And it was for a year. Actually, more than a year. They had all the high hopes of the following season. I think one of their mistakes was to let their quarterback go. But that was on them. Didn't want to pay him money, and then he went on and won a Super Bowl with another team, right? Bernard Gilkey. Cards are dusty. Dusty Tony Gwynn. All-star card. A dusty. I hope it's dust and not mildew, right? <laughs> we did find those moldy binders. Here's a Jim Tomei. Shout out to Central Valley Cards. He was a big Tomei fan. Here's uh, Sean Green and a Chan Ho Park. Shout out to Alex over at Jay's Mix, who's a Toronto, Montreal, all things Canadian sports fan. And Chan Ho Park, shout out to Lee, who is uh, a uh, friend of the channel from uh, Korea, who is a Chan Ho Park, uh, PC's Chan Ho Park, along with other things. He just likes everything, too. He sent me those uh, Derek Jeter Photos numbered to 99 from Tops or Upper Well, Tops, but it was Stadium Club. Uh, no, it's creased. Electric Diamond. It was setting on top of something. Got creased. It's Electric Diamond. It's a Hall of Famer, but it goes in the box. For damaged. Same way with this. Looks like this one was stuck in the bicycle spokes. In the box. Another one with a crease. In the box. Man, I hit the box three times in a row. Another crease. And I just jinxed myself by saying three times in a row because I missed Giambi. Negro Leagues, Lyman Bostock Sr. His son played ball, too. There was a Lyman Bostock that played baseball in the 70s, too. So, son or grandson? Lyman Bostock. And that's got a crease right there on the corner, too. I guess it's going in the box. Bang, hit it in the box. Starting a new streak. Omar Vizquel. Flipping. Flipping. 
Eckersley. Woo, 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 woo. What's this? Frank Thomas. What is that? See, I've never seen this one before. American Sports um, Monthly. So it's from a magazine, I guess. 1991, Frank Thomas. American Sports Monthly 40. So that must be card number 40. Frank Thomas just gives his date of birth. Columbus, Georgia. Experts predict Frank will be a star in the big league for many years to come. Well, they were right there. In 1990, he batted 330 and followed up by batting 529 in spring training this year. Hmm. Interesting. American Sports Monthly. It's a magazine. It's not the best of shape cards. It's got white on the corners, very white down there, but I've never seen it before. So it'll go in the big hurt pile. Yeah, it was pretty cool if uh, Lee to send that to me. Hey, baseball, CV baseball card collector, how's it going? What's cracking? Nothing. We haven't gotten any um, any more Jeter cards. Oh, look, another Frank Thomas right here. And score. Eddie Murray, all time active, all time career leaders. Switch hitting home runs, I would imagine. There he is. Base card. Very nice. Roger Clemens. And then we got some leaf gold. Bobby Bonilla. Omar Olivares. Okay. Uh, Sport Flex. Sport Flex. I went to this yesterday with them being just a little tacky, ticky tacky. Here's Randy Johnson coming at you with a fastball. edition the Youngstown Expos video for um, for Alex did you go out today to find any packs I kind of gave up going to the store. I did luck out one day. There's Joe Carter. And found some some cards, some packs at Target. But kind of gave up. Don't know when things are going to get back to normal. Mark McGuire. There's a little pudge. Dale Nomo was a big wheel back when he first came out. I also think he won the Rookie of the Year. Again, one of the umpteen thousand Dodgers that have won that distinction. Tops Gold. Tops Gold. Tops Gold. Well, looks like we're getting a bunch of tops gold here. Mike Messina, tops gold. Let's 
Sammy Sosa, Topps Gold. Mo Vaughn, not Topps Gold. And we're back to Topps Gold again. Two Hall of Famers, Johnson and Maddox. Same card. There's a 87 Donnie Baseball with a dinged corner. You're going to get that when you stack these cards in the box, like on their edges like that. It's just, when they're stacked in there like this, you know, three high, and it's just terrible for the cards. Alonzo Spellman. A1 Masters of the Grill. Advertisement cards. Roger Clemens. Griffey Jr. Checklist, number one. One through 53. Javier Lopez. Mickey Morandini. Ozzy Smith. This is 86. 85 or 86 tops. I can't read the print. Uh, Dave Justice. Um, this is from like the... Gas uh, or gas companies, Atlantic, yeah, they're Sunoco, Atlantic. So I don't know where they, if you got them for filling up your tank or where they came from. Jose Canseco, shout out to all the Canseco fans out there. There seems to be quite a few of them. All right, let's get cracking on some more cards. Still got like one, two, three, four, five thousand to go. Roughly. There's five rows in there yet. I'm bumping the camera. Hope you guys don't get seasick. Uh, Manny Ramirez. Nomo. Glavin. How about a Cal Ripken? Oh, someone's getting a knee to the head right there. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Taking Cal out. And there's a National League, I don't know if he's MVP or if he was All-Star, it says Highlights card. Eddie Murray, Tribute. Nomo again. Canseco All Star card. Oh, look, football. Bernie Parmalee. Parmalee. Gary Anderson. Yep. Seth Joyner. There you go. There's a former Eagles, right? Who's he play for here? Or is that a college? says Cardinals. Okay, so it's uh, Arizona Cardinals. How about this guy? Jamie Dukes. Never heard of him. Barry Bonds. Johnny Damon. Baseball uh, pitcher with a bat in his hand. Nothing more dangerous. Schmaltzy. Mike Schmidt. Nolan Ryan. Yes, there are plenty of Canseco fans.
I ever find a Conseco in a Jays uniform? Ah, I don't know. Probably. I'd have to really focus on them. I mean, I've been setting them off to the side, so I'd have to go back through all the fan favorites boxes right now to try to find one. Roger Clemens. Uh, Puckett on the Dunrose checklist. Here's a Todd Helton uh, draft pick card. Very nice. Heathcliff Slocum. Sean Green. Like third year card. Wade Boggs, 88 highlights. Okay. Get more cards and get a drink real quick. With a grip of Conseco's yesterday, sorting through my haul. Cool. I've not seen one either. A grip. Okay, let's see. They got collection. Rosius, Harold Baines, and what he's doing there, like making a phone call or grimacing because he got jammed or got hit on the hand while batting. How about our on deck with Ryan Sandberg? From upper deck. There's a justice signing a ball with a pen. The technology we had back then, you know. No one used Sharpies. It was all pens. Ozzy Smith, bare hand on a ball. Lee Smith, 85 tops. Lee Smith. Yeah, post that, post a, post a uh, pic or a video of it so we can see what the grip is, what it's all about. I've never even heard of it. Mess up the pile here. Guess we can just put all the football in one spot. There's a Tom Glavin all star power, not all star, but I'm sure it's an all star card. Gives a monthly breakdown. How about a BGO star power, a Bonds star power, Matt the Bat Williams, another Todd Helton draft pick. Tony Fernandez, Paul Molitor, in a Jay's Uni, mm. 
I got some leaf gold cards again. Let's get rid of these. Put them down there. I got more room to work. John Crook. Kirk Gibson. Eric Karos. There's Biggio. Getting dirty. Wade Boggs. Very nice. Camaro. Carlton Fisk, the original Pudge. Foil parallel. So let's leave it up. Johnny Damon. Here's a very young looking Sean Green. Three year career totals. Pedro is back to haunt me again. Another Pedro. For those of you guys that are maybe new here, don't know the story between Pedro and myself. Um, Pedro is a minor leaguer for the Dodgers in the Dodgers system. Um, I was living in Las Vegas, and every night there was a home game, I would take my two boys and we would go to the games, and we would have, you know, cards from say the game the night before we saw who was there so i'd go home and i would pull out their cards and have them ready for the next night we would go to the next game and we'd wait outside and try to get them signed by the players well they usually play like a four game stand and um during the the next like three nights i kept asking pedro to sign cards and he was signing them and then the last night there he flat out refused to sign any because he says to me all you're doing is selling them. And I'm like, in his best broken English now. You remember, his English was not so, it's still not so good. You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah. I'm like, dude, come on. You, you ain't nobody yet. You got in the big leagues because I, you, you might be okay, but your brother is what got you in with the Dodgers. Your brother was a good pitcher, Ramon, for the Dodgers organization. And they just hoped you would have a portion of his skills. Apparently a little bit more than his skills and a lot less than his brother's height because he's about a foot shorter than his, his older brother. But anyway, there's Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. So from that day on, it just, you know, like, F you, man. From Dunstan. Jim Edmonds. Can hardly read the names on the front of these. They're all bad with the reflection. Yeah, I should have asked in Spanish, except I didn't know any um, Spanish. Yeah, that story was just, I mean, my kids are right there with me, too. They're little kids. They weren't, you know, they were, like, really small, a couple years old, you know. And uh, they, uh, you know, got to see how sometimes big league players are not even big league yet, and they act big league. You know, Omar Vizquel. But he wasn't the only one. Kiram Garcia, and I guess his idol is Sammy Sosa. Um, 
Here's a Will Clark Sport Flex. Cecil Fielder. Royals card from Pacific. Marquise Grissom. Bichette. There's a Kirby Puckett, the Naturals. Hershiser down on the farm. No, it looks like he's moving sod for some reason with the uh, Pirates ball boy or something. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's a Canseco. Almost, almost glossed over this Canseco because I couldn't see the name. Canseco in a Boston uniform. Another Walker. He's even got his name up there, Walker, and a piece of paper. Hi, I'm Larry Walker. You might know me from the back of my card where I held the paper up that said Walker. There's uh, Mark Grace. Fred McGriff. Roger the Dodger. Clemens. Get the microphone shoved in his face. Roger, did you cheat? Did you take PEDs? Roger, Roger. Robbie Alomar in the Orioles uniform. Wade Boggs in the Yankee uniform. Ricky Henderson in a Padres uniform. So a lot of guys out of kind of out of uniform, right? Randy's not. He's been a Seattle guy for like forever. Castillo. Eric Karos. He's got to be in a Dodgers, yeah. Tony Gwynn, I don't think he ever left the Padres uniform. Sandy Alomar. Sheffield. Charles, another one of the 142 walks in 96, August 25th of 96. He had 142 walks that year. Catcher's even holding out his hand saying, give me four. Mark Witten. Ron Mondesi, of course. Sammy Sosa. Hardball hero, Sammy Sosa. Another Salmon, hardball hero, Salmon. Swimming upstream. 306 hitter, Mark Grace. Ricky Henderson, Will the Thrill, Sheffield, Alomar, Sandy Alomar Jr., Tim Salmon, signing, probably with the pen, Gary Sheffield again, man, it's a big run of uh, Hall of Famers and fan favorites there. They give the donation to a good charity. It's time to get the reject letter. Um, oh, we got the swirlies going again. Yeah. All right, are we are we back up, guys? I had to get more water anyway. 
See, Bream sounds like a mofo. I hear that. I heard that he does. Is he charging now, though? Bernard Gilkey in a Mets uniform. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer. It's a checklist with uh, Maddox on the front. Let's leave up Jeff King because he's a parallel. Ryan Thompson, but it's a parallel. Must be my provider. Internet terrible here. Yeah, it happens, yeah. It happens here sometimes. Our dress drops off for no reason and you gotta reboot everything. Johnny Damon, hardball hero, Johnny Damon. All right. Continuing on. Oh, yeah. Trying to be careful of pulling these out of the box. I don't want to damage them. Uh, I guess we never finished this for a lot here, right? Nope. Mondesi. Oh, there you go. John Riggins. I'm talking football like that was my guy, along with Namath. John Riggins. The Diesel. Mark Grace. Carter, Sammy Sosa on the fantasy team, another Nomo, this guy got a dog-eared corner, that's done for, Giambi, Andre Dawson, Sean Green. Mel Rojas. Electric Diamond. Paul Molitor. Sabo. He's grimacing, man. That was a bad hop backhander he had to take there. But he didn't keep the ball in front of him. If he kept it in front of him, he wouldn't have to worry about it. Just knock it down and make the play. Had to have been a bad hop. That's all I can say. BGO. Any trash cans? No, no trash cans in the background. So the Killer Bees did it without cheating. Made it to the Hall of Fame. Otis Nixon, Electric Diamond. Ozzy Smith. Derek May, Electric Diamond. Did bring him a baseball player? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's just joking there, Alex. Played years with Pirates, couldn't get it done there. Went over to Atlanta, and did they win the World Series that year? The Hawk, yes, but you're getting a Hall of Famer for 10 bucks, guys. So, um, CV, are you a member of um, baseball? What is that one? Um, Sportscollectors.net or something like that? I'm a member of that. Thanks, Alex. Ryan Sandberg, shielding his eyes for a high pop up. Craig Maddox. Oops. Omar Vizquel, Rainbow Foil Parallel, I guess you could call that. There's Roberto Alomar. Cal Ripken on a checklist. Barry Larkin. John Smoltz. Get the focus. There we go. A little better. Anthony Young. Electric Diamond. Langston Electric Diamond Parallel. Billy Wagner. Joey Cora. The reason I'm sleeving those ones up is so I can find them later. Uh, they'll be sticking out in the box. And that'll tell me that they're something that I hadn't had my eye on, Sammy Sosa, for when it comes time to putting like that set together or looking for stuff for certain sets. Ravi Alomar, Electric Diamond, John Hudek. Chilling. Puck it. Hey, 
Hershizer. And we got an electric diamond of Harold Reynolds. Molitor times two. Oops. Another Alamar or Alamar again. Mark Grace getting off the camera now. And a Joey Cora. This year, um, I, I early on in the year, I focused on sets. Um, probably 20 sets. But some of them might be like, you know, four sets of 1987 tops. Um, I bought some sets too, really cheap. Um, I bought complete sets, factory sets, um, lots, lots. But the factory sets are never going to get opened up, but you're going to stay in the factory box. But I will be, um, hey, Jason, how's it going? I will be, you know, I guess, because the more and more of the Pepino Man's um, library that I see, um, the more and more I may, I'm starting to, kind of buy back into the whole binder bit i had gotten out of it uh, i was saying binders are kind of like bad for your cards you run the risk of damaging them by putting them into those sleeves you know um so but it makes displaying them a lot a e lot you know easier i guess so you know you know what you've got you can go back and look through and you're organized instead of going through the box and say all right which ones do i need now Sure, in a box you can list the little notepad that says what numbers you need and all that. But Wade Boggs, let's start a new new pile here because that one's getting big. So I may be going back to um, binders. That won't be for a little bit. Goose. Murphy, Carter, There we go. Nice tone, man. Carol's Vistel. Jack Morris. Glavin. Right. So, I don't know. I may be going back to binders. That's just another expense, you know, and all the stuff. So, we'll see. That's going to be down the road. How about a Conseco? Almost getting caught off a of base there. Sandberg. Yeah. 
Sabo. Yeah, right. Long stretch. Carlton Fisk. Got that wrong. Sandberg. It looks like we got some more Sandberg. One more Sandberg. Oh, Sandberg. Sandberg. Maddox. Sandberg again. Kersley. It's like Ricky Henderson. Henderson again. Uh, Mark McGuire. Parker. Kevin Moss, Murphy again, Karos, another Tomei, and that is that stack of cards. Let's start over here on this one. Tops gold. Sammy Sosa tops gold. Dave Winfield tops gold. Nobody on that one. Jim Edmonds. Charlie Hayes.
Tino. It's a lot of Tops Gold cards. I don't think you got one per pack, did you? You might have, I guess, back in the day. Yeah, just a quick drink real quick. Ah. Ah, Poland Springs. Advertisement. Maybe I'll get a sponsorship now from them, huh? Throwing out their product. What a thirsty YouTuber drinks. Poland Springs. Quenches your thirst. Edmonds. Tino. Boggs. Sosa. Fiscal. Robbie Alomar. Oh, and and Brother Sandy there. Look at it. So they could have just put Alomar on the card, and it could have been for either one. They could have killed two birds with one stone there. That's cool, though. Hey, there's a Chipper. Coming attractions. Chipper Jones and Ryan Klesko. Very nice. Chipper doesn't look happy. Ryan's happy. Chipper looks scared. I guess it's the first time away from home or something. Focus. There we go. Yeah, they just worked him real hard. John Schmoltz. Whoops, off the camera. There's Schmoltz. And Delgado on that one, I guess, and Kendall. Delgado and Kendall. Tom Glavin. Bobby Bo, Jim Edmonds, Eckersley, Here's a Tome. Nice. Tony Gwynn. Yeah, Kersley. Roger Clemens. Donnie Baseball. Oh. Tony La Rosa. Very nice. Hall of Fame manager, right? Harold Baines. Roger Clemens. Tim Salmon. 
Lee Smith. I almost glossed over him. Jim Abbott. Mark Grace. And the Big Hurt All-Star card. It's got some kind of trophy there, too. Isn't that cool? Don't know what the trophy's for. I'm going to have to look that one up. Hey, Tex. Welcome back. Tim Raines. Tony Baseball. Roger Clemens. Huh. Ozzy and Sammy. McGriff and Bonds. Benito. There's a Tomei All Star card. Pretty cool. Winfield Tribute. Eddie Murray Tribute. We saw that one before. All-Star Manny with Tomei on his back. We've seen that one before in the box. I know that. Randy Johnson. And Dave Justice. Ooh, we got a Mariano Rivera right here. That's our first Mariano card. Very nice. Rookie class, too. So I guess it's a rookie card. Be careful with that one. Mo Rivera. I'll put him up here, too. Frankie Rodriguez. Chan Ho Park. Big Maddox All Star card. Run championship trophy, you think? I want to give out the bats, or is the bat something new? I thought they gave out just like a bat or something. So, like 10th, Arlington, Texas. He beat Albert Bell. Oh, okay. All rookie, chipper. Very nice. Another chipper rookie card. Silver signature. Silver signatures. Kim and Eddie. Dale Nomo. Roberto Alomar. Robert Bell and Eddie Murray. They're both signed in silver. Nice. Deion Sanders. She so looks like a dollar sign to me. Ooh, gold signatures. Kenny Lofton and Quivio Veras. Gold. How about a gold Edgar Martinez? Very nice. Gold Fred McGriff.
Very nice. Gold signature. Silver, Randy Johnson. Here's a gold, um, Carlos Perez, a gold Ventura checklist, and a gold BGO fantasy team. Very nice. Too bad that Rivera wasn't a gold version, right? That would have been nice. Got it. Sterling Hitchcock. Boggs. Mattingly. Ricky Henderson. Eckersley. Who's got that one eye closed? Like, like giving the old stink eye or something. Mickey Morandi. Fantasy, fantasy team Maddox. Randy Johnson, Nomo, Mike Piazza, Maurice Vaughn, Biggio, Edgar, Barry, and Sammy. we got left we're going on closing on an hour and a half guys so this will be the last little bit right here in my hand that will leave less than 4,000 to go so we'll pick it up in the next one we did quite a, quite a bit today Ozzy Gilkey as charged. <clears throat> yeah, what was Gilkey's uniform number? He wasn't 25, was he? 23, maybe. I don't know. I thought McGuire had 25. All-star Tony Gwynn. Caminetti, Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer. Fernando, Barry, All Star. Dion. All-Star Johnson, Tino, Will, Clark, All-Star Ripken, two Hall of Famers, Two Hall of Famers. One Hall of Famer and one Rookie of the Year. 
two Hall of Famers. McGriff. Schmoltz, we've seen that card before. The Martinez Brothers. Caminetti, Bell, and Murray. We're going to call it there, guys. What did we get? Well, we got a Mariano rookie card. She's right up there with Jeter, I guess. The only guy to be 100%, unanimously 100% of the votes. First place ballot, Hall of Famer. And found a John Riggins card. Woo woo! Couple of football. No more Jeters. We found these two promos. So that's cool. They'll go in the binder. And that's it, guys. It's um, We're an hour and a half into this one. Oh, my back's getting sore from standing there. So we're going to call it. And we'll get to check out what other people are putting up. Other people's videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, how? Yeah, guys, thanks for swinging by. Thanks for posting that for me, uh, Alex, again. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to check out everybody else, their their websites. Guys, you you got the, the wrenches. Go ahead and don't be afraid to put up your links, guys, all right? Let people know that that you got a channel and, and you know, um, that you're, uh, you know, you're open for business. And guys need to head over and check each other out and support each other. And, and um, you know, make sure we comment on the videos. You know, make sure that that subscription sticks. Oh, I did. There was a Brooks Robinson autograph. What did it go for? Do you remember? That's a good price if it was certified, which I'm sure it was. I don't think he sells anything. I don't think he sells anything that's not certified. So I'm happy with the one I picked up, though. That preacher row was was a steal at ten bucks. So can't go wrong there. Old time, old time baseball player autograph. One you can't get anymore. He's long been dead. I'm sure. You know. Brooks Robinson's still alive. He still signs TTM. You can get him through TTM for like 10 bucks. You know, yeah, I, I saw that preacher row and I was like, please, 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 please. No one else outbid me on this. And everyone's very, very polite and cordial in there. There's no, it's not like, it's not like um, the past is alive where people are sniping at the last minute. <laughs> I mean, that makes John's fun, though, too, with the sniping that goes on there, admittedly. Um, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure Preacher Rose is in the Hall of Fame, too. I'm not 100% sure, but he's, his name has been, you know, associated with a lot of great ball players anyway. So, you know, you can't. I couldn't pass on it. That's all. Whether it was. Uh, Brooklyn Dodger or, you know, New York Giant or whatever, being a Yankees fan doesn't matter. Those are all guys that, uh, you know, that played back then that were, you know, played the game not so much for the money, but because they just, you know, love playing the game. They never made a lot of money. They were getting paid less than minor leaguers were getting paid today, you know. So, all, I mean, the big guys like the Roos, and the mantles and, and guys like that were making decent contracts, like a hundred thousand dollars for for a you know a year or something like that. But other than that, they, no, guys aren't making nothing, nothing compared to today's. More like minor leaguer pay. 
what did Bobby Richardson, he wrote in his book, um, when he was offered his contract with the Yankees, um, or no, it wasn't with the Yankees, sorry, I take that back. It was from the Topps, Topps baseball card company to produce his baseball card. You know what? The Topps offered Bobby Richardson to make his card and to sell it. He had a choice. It was going to be $250 cash, right? Or a colored television set. And he chose the colored television set over the money so his wife and mother-in-law could watch the Yankees on TV. So, yeah. Interesting. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. I hate to say it, but I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't have to outdo you for it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to adding that one to my uh, collection. I don't have a big, you know, top bolt sell some of those contracts. So I saw an autograph that someone was selling on eBay, and it was like, I don't know thousand dollars or something and I, I don't have the i don't have that thousand dollars to spend on one card or it's not even a card it was just i think it was like an index card or something like that of uh, mickey mantle um his early signature before we, it's the nice big loopy one that everyone sees now all right it, it, it wasn't it wasn't a very popular one like Like this one, all right? It wasn't the all looped up fancy loops like this one here. It was like this. And I, I actually copied my signature off of that one, off of this one a long time ago um, when I was a younger. Um, i find a piece of paper. And so... I copied mine. I patterned mine after his second signature. He had one before this, too. So his first signature, I tried copying. And, like, when he was really young, it was like this, right? And it's kind of ugly, but basically, yeah, his was a his was an M like that with a little loop. And then he went to this one, the big tail, the flag, right? And that was his second signature. And someone had one of the one of his second signatures, signatures up for sale for like a thousand bucks. And now he just made it this crazy, like down the loop like that. Some crazy stuff like that. Like I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna attempt that one. I'm happy I do. This is my M and that was his second, second signature. And I had this, this loopy one first too, like this as my first M when I was doing my signatures for the first time signing documents and paperwork and stuff like that. And then I changed my signature later on in life to match his there. But this third one is just nuts. Not going to go. And I'm going to attempt that third one. But, you know, um, I'm named after Mickey Mantle. My father is a big Yankee fan. And so, yeah, that's why I've always, always had a, you know, that Mickey Mantle was always my guy. I put on the sumo suits. We did that in the Air Force a couple of times when we had like uh, like bonding days and stuff like that. We would go out and, and uh, do our little bonding exercises because it's the Air Force. It's not the Army. It's not the Marine Corps. It's not even the Navy. It's the Air Force. And we would have those sumo wrestling things and you'd have to go out there and like be nice fighting. And it's the Air Force. What can I say? Hey, Kevin Cards, how's it going? Um, we're kind of wrapping it up now. We went through, guys, we went through all those cards right there that you see lined up. We went through all these. There's like 2,000 cards here. And these are the Hall of Fame and uh, fan favorites, Hall of Fame players, fan favorites. Small stack of football, mostly cooking cards. You know, football players like to, like to eat. Look how big they are. Some kind of recipe cards. 
And we found two promo cards and a um, Mariano Rivera rookie card. So not bad for like over 2,000 cards. We've got we've got like 4,000 left in there. One, one, two, three, four. And they're under 4,000 left now. And we'll be done with that box. Whew. Big box. There's like 10,000 10, to start off. So there's a lot of cards. So that's that. That's it for today's um, live stream. I don't know if I'm going to go back on later today or not. Um, saw my other live video. I got this out of a pack from uh, John over at the Passes Alive. He sent me my Ty Cobb lot that I had won. That's in the other video. This is cool. You get like you only get like one of these every so many boxes. I think I don't think this is even one a box. So pretty cool, Hank Aaron hologram. And that's about it, guys. Probably put this. Um, We'll put this Rivera in this mini snaps pro mold card holder kangaroo pouch. I don't know. Safe and snug like a kangaroo pouch, I guess. I don't think the, um, yeah, see the, uh, what's called it won't fit in it. So we either have to cut it off at the top of the card, which isn't going to happen. We put it in here without the plastic sleeve. So there we go. And that's... You just press it down. And supposedly you're supposed to hold it. And there you go. Now Mariano is preserved. Until we decide to move him out of that, I guess. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for today's uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, shoot, I don't know what time it is. I had a late breakfast. Not like yesterday where I skipped lunch. I had a late breakfast today. Yeah, take care, everyone. Uh, appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. Um, thanks for all the thumbs up. Don't forget to go out and support each other and um, help each other grow. Um, that's what we do. And with all that being said, um, this is Boomsline signing out saying, peace, guys. We'll see you, Mo, in the next one. Thanks, guys. The hobbyist. Beyond the bus. The 500 giveaway. There you go, guys. Check out the hobbyist. Spread the word, guys. Spread the word. Help these guys grow. Later, guys. Thanks, Alex.